Hi everyone. Today uh, I'm going to be uh, showing you how to air layer plants. Air layering is a method of vegetative propagation that allows you to turn the stems of any plant into another three within a few weeks. The beauty of this uh, uh, type of vegetative uh, propagation is that it allows you to have a new plant that will have all the characteristics of the parent tree and also it allows you to have fruits faster. For example, this is a guava tree now. If I plant the seeds uh, from the fruits of this guava tree, it will take about three years before it starts fruiting. And of course, I may not have the futures that this parent tree has. But with air layering of a stem like this, Within six months, the guava is already fruiting and it will have every single characteristic of the parent tree. With air layering, this, uh, you, you can easily clone uh, any plant and it's very, very straightforward. All right, so all the things we need, there are things we have in the house already. So this is water, sawdust. So that's what we're gonna use. That's our substrate, sawdust. Uh, a sharp knife. So this is a sharp knife, okay? A scissors, a sharp scissors, a rope, cellotape, cellophane paper. This is your foil paper. So you will see how we're gonna use uh, everything uh, when we start. So the first thing we're gonna do is Put some moisture. Let the sawdust have some moisture. Very important, very, very important because you can't use a dry foam. It will not work. So, so this is done. This is ready. So that's it. Uh, let me wash my hands. And so what we're going to do now, we'll select all the stems. So with this branch, we're going to remove this branch as well. So already, I've taken the measurement from here. So this is number two. Once you put the back in, okay. careful with the knife, sharp. All right, so the next thing now. We'll prepare the cellophane, a paper, uh, and the first thing we do, because we have to use the rope to wrap it, so we're gonna cut. So just any kind of string, you can use any kind of string. So let me just cut this one. So we have 20, so we need 40. Fold it like this. What we need to do now, we need to put a cellar tape here so that we can join it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So that's why I'm using a table. So it's it's very simple. Uh, so come. So what you're just going to do? Just put the tape here. Divide it into two, so half, you know, it's half that's gonna cover this place. So once you do that, that's why I use a table. So watch, so the next thing I'm gonna do here, I'll cut this place. And we're done. As you can see, So you see that? See? Close. So what do we have now? So this is closed. 
All right. So you see, it's close. So next, what we're going to do next, we'll take the rope, one of the ropes for the bottom. You come below the cut, fold it, and you have to tie your rope. All right. So this is it. Tie the rope very well. There you go. So pull it, make sure it cannot move. So the next thing we're going to do now is to use this. So remember, squeeze it. And just put it inside. All right. So you make sure you put it inside. Use your hand to push it down. And that's it. Now hold it now. So the rope is long enough as well because when it's long enough it's easier for you to tie so you can see uh, one person can easily do that all right there you go so that's it so the next thing of course is like i said you need foil paper so this is it Come back after eight, uh, after four weeks. That's ready. Same thing. So, like I said, just uh, get your knife again. And there you go. So, look at the roots. So I'm going to remove the flowers, I'm mean, sorry, some of the leaves from here. So that's to release it. So the same thing, you just dig. Make sure the hole is digging up. You don't have to put any other thing. Just uh, don't put fertilizers. If you put fertilizers, it will kill the plant. So all it needs is just water and that's it. So 